Yo yo people wagwan well, welcome back to Ron Stickup and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to link or to how to use your mobile phone to connect to your Open Media Vault NAS. It is very very simple and some of the apps you can use completely free. So let's jump into this one. So let me clarify. What I mean by connecting your Open Media Vault to your mobile phone is not simply using your web browser to access the web interface. What I mean is transferring files from your Android mobile phone. This should work for iPhone as well, but transferring files from your Android mobile phone to your NAS. Very simple process. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Play Store. This is the first step. First step is go to Play Store and simply type in at the very top into the search bar file manager you can choose any one of the file managers you want i've downloaded two of them this one here on my screen is simply called file manager is, is made by the company file manager plus this is a free one probably with in-app purchases i'm going to use that one and i'm also going to be using this one called file manager from xiaomi i don't know how to say it. xiaomi xiaomi however you say it i'm going to be using both of those i tested them both earlier and they both work perfectly fine however you can go ahead and download any file manager that you want which supports smb server message block after downloading the apps i'm going to go to my home screen i've got both the apps here i'm going to use the file manager one on the right first that one here because this one seems the icon seem a bit larger so it might be better for screen recording and again i'm doing every single thing from my mobile phone at the moment so i'm going to click on file manager and i'm going to click on the one that says remote i'm going to add a remote location and from here i'm going to choose smb server message block now it's going to ask for your host name on this screen you don't actually have to fill in all the details because you're on the same domain as the drive you're trying to connect to so for me i'm only going to enter the host name you should be able to use ipv4 or you should be able to use the host name. So the IPv4 would be the, the 192.168. whatever number. So that's the IPv4 number. The host name, that would be the name of the actual thing. So for, for me, in my case, if you watch my previous videos, my host name is Open Media Vault. So in the very top one, I'm only going to type in Open Media Vault there. Open Media Vault. There we go. And down here. When I tried this last time, I didn't need to enter any username or password, which is a bit worrying because if somebody knows that I have this, they can simply jump onto my network and get access. But most people don't know. For this app, you only need to click on anonymous. It gets rid of the username and password field. You don't have to type anything in. Simply press OK. It should search. And for me, it normally finds it. There we go. Mini PC share is the name of the actual thing I created, the, fo the, the shared folder I have. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, there's nothing in there at the moment, but I can actually go ahead and create a folder and transfer files to that PC. What I think I'm going to do as a test is to create a folder called PC, I'm um, sorry, is create a folder called phone recording or phone screen recording or whatever it is. Then I'm going to transfer files from my phone that I'm actually screen recording on now to that mini PC. To create a folder, you're going to tap on those dots in the top right hand corner. You're going to click on new. It's going to come up with file or folder. For me, I'm going to do folder and I'm going to call this one phone recording. I'm going to press OK. Now that folder has been created. I will double check this when I get onto my Windows PC just to prove that it works. But I'm going to tap in there. And at the moment, there's nothing in there. So what I'm going to do is actually go back to the home page of this app. So click on home, go back to the home page here and go to main storage. Then I'm probably going to go to where um, screen recording is. So let me find where screen recording is. Maybe movies. Yeah, here's everything I just did. I'm going to highlight all of these. So let's see if I can highlight multiple. Uh, can I? Yeah, just press on hold. Highlight everything. Then rather than move it, I'm going to copy just to be on the safe side. So I'm going to click on copy bottom left hand corner, copy. Then I'm going to go back and find my share. Let's click on here. Then I'm going to click on. Oh, it shows up on the left, which is perfect. Open Media Vault on the left there. I'm going to click on that. Empty folder is still in the empty folder. So if I go back to the home page of the mini PC, it says phone recording there. I'm going to click on my folder and I'm going to paste it here. And that actually works. 17 megabytes per second is pretty good. Here we go. All the files copied. 
you should be able to do all the same file operations you would be able to do on a computer or at least most of them so you should be able to play from here let me let me long press and see the options i have i can copy again i can move i can rename i can delete if i do more i can share it so i can probably download it to my mobile phone from there long press on that i'm going to do open with to see if i can actually play this video from the network drive so uh click on just once once uh, yep that works perfectly fine so that was being played directly from the network attached storage now bear in mind these files are very small but to be fair i got 17 megabytes per second transfer speeds that's more than enough to play high quality files now that i've shown you from the file manager up on the right i'm going to also show you from the file manager up on the left here this was the one created by xiaomi or xiaomi however you say it this one looks a bit cleaner the icons are a bit smaller but i think this is a slightly cleaner app so I'm going to click on that to open it. I'm going to accept all of this. Of course, you have to accept it. You don't really have a choice. And from here, I'm going to click on the hamburger menu on the left hand side here. I'm going to click on remote at the top there. R-E-M-O-T-E. -E. I'm going to click on where it says add a remote device. Now from here, I'm going to go LAN. So that's local area network and FTP is file transfer protocol. You want to do local area network if you're connecting to something inside of your home network. So something that's typically connected to your Wi-Fi or your Ethernet or however it is connected inside your house. You want to do LAN, local area network. It's not going to find it. I've tried this a couple of times before. It doesn't actually find it when you leave it. It, uh, scanning so i'm going to click on edit and from here i'm going to type in the host name again so open media vault and for this one i believe you can put the domain and you should be able to also put the username as admin and the password as open media vault i've left mine as the default so it's just a bit quicker for me i'm going to press ok and see if this actually works click on open media vault there is it going to work? Yep. Media, uh, sorry, not media, mini PC share comes up, phone recording comes up and all the files come up in here as well. So that's working perfectly fine on both apps. I do like the first app a bit more just because it seems a bit more feature rich, but to be fair, it's, it's up to you. If you're someone who likes a cl really clean, simple look, then this one works fine as well. If you're someone who prefers to have, um, the app with more features and the other one looks perfectly fine now the really sad thing is if you go to the files app inside of your android phone for example a samsung phone would probably have this and other android phones typically have a really good file manager google doesn't give the pixel 8 pro or the pixels in general a good file manager that comes with the phone you have to go download a separate one which is fine to be fair but it would be really nice if i could tie this into the file app i have on my phone so i could add my network attached storage drive here and i could copy and paste files across because that's how i actually want to start backing up my files i don't want to be using google drive to back up my pictures and videos i want to just have a local thing that i can plug multiple hard drives into i can get dozens of terabytes just a quick one this is me transferring over 500 videos and pictures from my mobile phone which totals about 7.6 gigabytes to the network attached storage using open media vault and using one of these and using one of these free file manager apps for android so pretty decent speeds i think this is much faster than what i would get transferring to google drive and uh, not as convenient unless i can set up a an external share so like a link which i can access externally in any case thanks for watching hopefully that was useful to someone uh, more videos are incoming finally off from work so bear with me the next series of videos i do want to show how to actually do auto backup from your android phone or from your pc to your network attached storage using open media vault and maybe i think it's called a photo sync app i will research this some more and try and get you the information but thanks for watching